So, Ron, if you put on the first half kilogram, the mirror always starts to oscillate a little bit, and so we have to be a little patient. And in the beginning, you may be bored because, cha, we're going to that linear part of the curve. So it goes up very slowly, very gradually. We have um, five centimeters for the first half kilogram. Could you um, remove the half kilogram? It returns practically to zero. Maybe it's a little higher, but that's not very significant. Could you make it one kilogram? Ah, ah, clearly higher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's about nine centimeters. Nine, ten. So you see it's in the linear part. Nine to ten centimeters. Can you remove the half kilogram wrong? The one kilogram. There was one kilogram on it. We have to just wait, let it damp out a little. It's oscillating. It's possible that you already begin to see a small deformation, which may be one or one and a half centimeters. I put a question there, question mark there. It's possible. Can you put one and a half kilograms on? Yeah, I think it is. You can almost remove the question mark. So now we are at one and a half. So if it is strictly linear, you would expect something like 15. Yeah, that's what it is, 15. So it's still doing quite well. Can you take them off? One and a half. Oh, but you see, it no longer wants to return to its original length. It's clearly longer now. Permal deformation has already occurred. And so we are now something like six centimeters. Can you uh, make it two kilograms? Two kilograms. If it's linear, you would expect near 20. And it's still amazingly linear. It's as close as I can see it to 20, but all these readings are no, accurate, no more accurate than half a centimeter or so. So can you remove the two kilograms? Oh, boy, look at that. There's clear deformation now. No longer returns to zero, and it is uh, oh, it's comfortably 10 centimeters long now. So can you make it two and a half? You're now slowly approaching the part that I hope you were going to see, and that is that it's going to take off like a rocket. That with a little bit of extra weight, it will start to move substantially. We haven't reached that point yet, but we're close to it. We're now 26, 25, 26. Still looks quite linear. Can you take it off, uh, Ron? Actually, there's no need to take it off anymore, because it's clear that we... Um, that we have permanent deformation, and there's no sense in following that. So why don't you make it three kilograms? So what was it? What did I say it was? What was the number I said? 20 what? 25 or so. So we have three now. Boy, this wire is hanging in there, I must tell you. 32, yeah. Can you make it uh, four? Watch very closely now on the wall, because it, the drama is about to start now. What did I say, 30? I said 32. Four. Ooh, still moving. Still moving. 52. Settles at 53. 
Now don't look at the board, now look at, at this spot now. Can you add, remember the number, right? 53. Can you add one kilogram now? And look at that. Okay, it came almost twice as long and it is still moving. Still going. Still going. I hope it will settle. I'm going to write down my 53. Five kilograms. We're at five, right? Ninety-seven. Now put on six. Ninety-seven. Remind me, ninety-seven. Now watch this point. Yeah! Now you're clearly in that plastic flow portion. By adding one kilogram, look where that point is. It's still moving. What was five? Ninety-seven? So we're now at six kilograms. Oh, well, actually, that is still easy for me to estimate. I would say it's about double the length of that stick that we have on the wall, and the stick is two meters long. Is it moving? It's still moving a little bit. It's a little more than four meters. It's close enough, four meters, just for the idea. Four meters, so it's 400. Put on seven. It will go through the ceiling now, so we lose it. But what I want to do now, I want to get to the breaking point. We can no longer measure the displacement. But we are very close to the breaking point now. So we're going to load it up to the point that it will break. And that allows us to measure the ultimate tensile strength. We are at seven now. Can you put eight on? Oh, we're running out of. <laughs> oh, God. You could just see it sag when the eight was put on. Did you actually look at the wire? Okay, so at eight kilograms, it breaks. <laughs>